back to my channel i am upasna taneja and i just want to tell you if you are visiting my channel first time i do mathematics video higher mathematics video and on my channel you can find modern algebra and real analysis videos presently we are studying ordinary differential equation and this is 12th lecture of the, that series and in this lecture we are going to study about singular solution in previous lecture we studied what is general solution and what is particular solution and here we are continuing that topic only singular solution what are singular solutions okay so if you want to watch that video the or the series of ordinary differential equation what are ordinary differential equation what is order and degree in everything homogeneous and non homogeneous exact differential equations everything we have discussed in detail and here we will study what are singular solution what is singular solution okay and meanwhile i just want to tell you in between i'll keep telling you some short tricks also so please watch the video till the very end and if you like the video then please press the bell button and do tell me in comment section you are liking it or not okay so see we have what is a singular solution this is an envelope to the general solution we have studied suppose we have a differential equation okay suppose like that something like this and we got a solution general solution that means the solution which has arbitrary constant that is called general solution okay and if we assign any particular value to, to that solution any particular value then we say this is particular solution okay so what is singular solution we will study this also what is singular solution first of all envelope to the general solution what is envelope suppose we have in general solution we got a family of curve then suppose we got family of circles okay family of circles whose center lie on x axis then a curve which touches all which touches each member of this family of curve is called envelope of that family like if we got parabolas family of parabolas okay then a curve which touches each member that means tangent which touches each and every member of this family of curve then that is called envelope we will study this topic in detail also separately but here we do not need to study it in detail so just this a curve which touches each and every member of family of curve of general solution then that is called that is called envelope of that family okay so that envelope is the singular solution and the method of finding envelope and method of finding singular solution is same so we will see there in detail when when we will study envelope we will see how do we find envelope here we are going to study this topic singular solution and with the help of examples and method of finding singular solution we are going to study everything in detail okay so we can say or what we can say a solution of differential equation which does not contain any arbitrary constants like in general solution we have arbitrary constant but in singular solution we don't have arbitrary constant okay so number 1 we don't have arbitrary constant in general solution in singular solution okay and which cannot be obtained by assigning some particular values to those arbitrary constants that means if we will have some particular arbitrary per particular values to arbitrary constant then that will become particular solution so that is not general solution not particular solution but that satisfies the family of curves of solution that is called singular solution and we will see how do we find that now we will see what is the method of finding singular solution because this is very important topic in every multiple choice question you will get at least one question of finding singular solutions okay so let's jump to method of finding so now first of all we will note this working rule and then we will see with the help of example also okay so if we have any differential equation f of x y p is equal to 0 what do where p is parameter what do we need to do 
we need to differentiate it with respect to p this was equation number 1 differentiate it with respect to p and eliminate p between these two 1 and 2 how do we eliminate p substitute the value of p from here in equation number 1 or or you can see how to how can you eliminate the p between 1 and 2 and you will get a function of xy that we will say psi 1 xy sometimes we get singular solution here only okay we don't need to do any further okay if we get only one solution y equal to 0 y equal to 3 then that is the singular solution okay you can uh, stop here but if you get two or more solution here then what do you need to do find general solution that is phi of xyc you can find general solution you, you can or uh, you have done many question of finding general solution of this differential equation then find general solution okay and in general solution you have c then differentiate it partially with respect to c curly phi by curly c equal to 0 and this is equation number 5 now you need to eliminate c between these two like you eliminated p between 1 and 2 you need to eliminate c between 4 and 5 and then again you will get a function of xy here you got function of xy here you are getting function of xy and you will see what is the common solution between these two suppose you are getting y equal to 0 here y equal to 2 here and here you are getting y equal to 0 y equal to 3 then y equal to 0 is common solution between these two then that will be the singular solution this is the method okay and in case what happens here here you get when you get general solution and you get a quadratic equation like this a c square b c square plus c equal to 0 this a b c are capital and this is small you get you will get a function of c here okay because you are getting general solution here and suppose you get a quadratic equation here then b square minus 4 a c is equal to 0 will be the solution then how will you calculate if in case you get quad you get quadratic equation then you need to calculate is discriminant okay and then you will see common between these two what is the common factor between these two that will be the singular solution okay i hope you got this working rule and now we are going to write some no, uh, some notes and some results about the singular solution you can note those results also and then we will jump to examples okay so i just wanted to tell you this final result if you got psi xy equal to 0 okay when you eliminated you get something then that's if that psi xy that function of xy if that is satisfying given differential equation then that will be singular solution and if that psi xy is equal to 0 does not satisfy then you need to find its factors factorize it and which factors those factors which will be satisfying given differential equation they will make singular solution okay so now we come to examples now we have this example and i hope you have understood the method of finding singular solution if you have a given differential equation you need to differentiate it with respect to p that differential equation was in one parameter family p okay and then you need to eliminate p between 1 and 2 okay between 1 and 2 you need to eliminate p we have discussed in detail i just want to summarize it okay and then you will find solution or uh, general solution phi x y c okay and then you will find curly phi by curly c and then you will eliminate c okay and the common solution between 3 and 6 will be singular solution okay and if we get here in equation number 4 we get a quadratic equation then we will find discriminate of that quadratic equation with respect to c okay discriminate okay then that is called singular solution and singular solution should satisfy given differential equation okay 
and now we come to i told you that if we get only one solution then do we do not need to go further after step 3 these were some steps for finding differential for finding singular solution okay so now we have this singular this have uh, we have this differential equation what do we need to do differentiate it with respect to p 18p into y minus 2 is equal to 0 this implies p equal to 0 okay now we need to eliminate p between this and this that means we will substitute the value of p in this we get substitute the value of p in 1 okay so we get this will be 0 we get 3 minus y is equal to 0 y is equal to 3 We, do, we we get only one solution that means this is the singular solution okay if we get two or more solution then we move to step 4 5 6 and then common between 3 and 6 is singular solution okay so i hope you are getting what is singular solution what is the method of finding singular solution and now we come to second example now we have this example find the singular solution of this equation we say it equation number 1 and what was step number 1 step number 1 was we have did this okay so step number 1 was differentiate this equation number 1 with respect to p differentiate 1 with respect to p now we will do this question with steps okay with respect to p we will get 0 x plus ap this we will get minus 1 plus 1 minus p and this is a okay so we get 0 is equal to x plus minus ap plus a minus ap that means x plus p x plus a is equal to 2ap and p is equal to this so we this is step number 2 now step number 3 was eliminate p between 1 and so we will substitute the value of p in equation number 1 substitute the value of p in 1 okay so we will get y is equal to x plus a upon 2a plus a x plus a or you can write this equation number 1 we can write this also px plus ap minus ap square okay or we can write it as p common x plus a minus ap square okay now substitute x plus a and the value of p is x plus a upon 2a okay minus ap square x plus a square upon 4a square p square so we now we when we will solve solve it we will get y is equal to x plus a square upon 2a we can take common and we will get here 1 minus 1 by 2 that means we will get y is equal to this so we got only one solution which is the singular solution but we will set is we will try to see that how can we find the general solution now we have we will go to step number 4 also so this is step number 3 okay now what do we need to do for step number 4 for this solution for this question we do not need to find further but how can we find it if we need to find further we will see that now for step 4 you need to differentiate you need to find the solution and now you can see this is claret's equation what is claret's equation if you have a equation of this type you can e equation y is equal to px plus f of p function of p then then general solution you take p is equal to c y is equal to cx plus f of c is general solution okay so how will we find so general solution is general solution of general solution of equation 1 is 
y is equal to cx plus ac 1 minus c and you will find c you will differentiate it with respect to c for step number 5 differentiate it with respect to c curly f by curly c okay you will get 0 here and similarly like you just replaced p with c so you will definitely get c is equal to x plus a upon 2a and then you will substitute the value of c in this equation equation number 4 and then you will get again get y is equal to this solution so the common between 3 and 6 will again be this only y is equal to you can solve it okay because you have just replaced p with c so you will definitely get this solution only and which will be the common between this and the equation number 6 what do we need to do? What do we need to do? We need to do this only. Okay. So this will be the general. This will be the singular solution. And now I think you have understood that how do we find singular solution? If we have only, if we have only one solution, y is equal to this, then we do not need to go further. You can tell this is the singular solution. Otherwise, we will go and find the singular solution. We know the method now. We know the steps now. If you are getting it, then please subscribe to my channel. You can visit me. You can follow me on Telegram also. This is Mathematics by Dr. Upasana Dhaneja. And you can follow me on Instagram also. Okay. So, if you are liking, then do tell me in comment section. And thank you so much for watching.